all week long. We've been warning you that that late week would be prime time for bigger waves along our beaches. Well, that time has come and officials are on alert for people who may venture near the water. 10 on your sides. Lauren Moss has the words of warning about the rip currents. Lauren. Yeah, the red flags are up at the ocean front. That's the warning to swimmers to stay out of the water. Hurricane Lee is kicking up our serve, leaving behind large waves that are dangerous to swim in. You might have just heard the lifeguard whistle. He's heading to the beach right now, keeping people out of the water. We've seen it all day. This rough surf extends from Hampton Roads on down to the Outer Banks. Here at the ocean front, we could see waves run four to six feet and down along the Outer Banks could see six to to 10 feet. Officials urging you to stay out of the water. Now, last week, you may remember it was a similar situation, a rough surf and red flags. There were three drownings on the Outer Banks that week. Xavier Bethel was on a trip with his family and told me he's lucky to be alive. He was able to get a lifeguard's attention for help. He says the water looked calm, but yellow flags were posted. He and his son were diving under the water when he was pulled out to sea about 200 yards. He started floating and credits that for saving his life. Bethel hopes his story urges people to pay attention and stay out of this dangerous water. So I would just tell him, you know, pay it to be where lifeguards at, pay attention and watch know, out for other swimmers too. Because don't let the, the water pull you because I mean, it's don't take it for granted. Yeah, pay attention to the flag. Hear more from the Bethel family about the scary moments on their vacation on Wavy News at 10 and 11. In Virginia Beach, I'm Lauren Moss, 10 on your side.